Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So yeah, it's a lovely sunny day here in Koh Phangan, Thailand, which is a tropical Thai island, which is, in my opinion, one of the best islands to live in Thailand. And I've been here since around the start of February of this year, and I've absolutely loved being here, but I decided just recently, spontaneously, that I'm actually going to leave here. I need a change of scenery and I just feel a desire to be somewhere else for a change. And yeah, I've been here quite a while and I normally move around Thailand a couple of times a year, sometimes three times a year to different places. And yeah, the place I'm actually moving to, in case any of you are interested, is Chiang Mai, Thailand. And what I would say is I have lived in Chiang Mai for the longest period of time out of the whole three years or so that I've been in Thailand. It was the first place to come to in Thailand ever. And what I have to say is, in comparison to Koh Phang Yang, Chiang Mai is more of a busy big city, but not like Bangkok, Thailand, where it's really, really dirty and horrible and just too much going on. It has a nice combination of, yeah, being busy, and a lot going on there and a lot more accessibility. That's one thing that I'm really not liking here. There's not a lot of accessibility to a lot of things on this island, which is not the best for my business. It's not best for a lot of different reasons as well. So I'm gonna be very grateful to have such more of a wide array of access to all the different things that I need there. Also, it is one of the number one digital nomad places in the world to live and this isn't the reason why i'm going there but it is one of the cheapest places to live which has some of the best internet possible and has loads of like-minded digital nomads and i am a digital nomad youtube is my full time career and has been for a very very long time so it's really nice for me to go somewhere where there's a lot of people that are digital nomads like myself and people that are pursuing their purpose and their passions in life and making a career out of it and yeah, what I would say is in Koh Phang Yang, Thailand, there's not as many people like that around. Most people that come here are either backpackers or they are people that have come for healing, whether it's physical healing, spiritual healing, or mental healing, or people that just come here for a holiday to rest and take it easy, which is good, but it has more of what I would call a yin energy. And I feel I need a bit more yang energy for a while. So yeah, I'm looking forward to going there for that reason. Also, they have a gym called Go Gym, which is just absolutely amazing for calisthenics. The gym here is really not good for calisthenics at all. At this one, it is so much cheaper, almost half the amount that I pay for the one that I'm at now, but so much more better. It is a huge gym in a warehouse and they have so many different types of bars and equipment for calisthenics which is just so much more suitable for me and also i want to start making my video workout courses and other things that require a better gym to start making them so it's also good for certain projects that i want to work on and there's a lot more people into fitness there's not many people that are here so there's a lot of people that i could learn from and a lot of people that i can teach and also want to start setting up calisthenics workshops and training people they're one-on-one, -on -one, but also with the workshops, doing huge group beginner calisthenics workshops because I love just helping people with calisthenics and improving themselves physically and also with the calisthenics skills and they're helping them improve their fitness levels and their energy levels and their health as well. So yeah, there's a few different reasons, but also, yeah, I just feel the natural desire to go there, but who knows whether I will enjoy it there or not. Maybe I won't like it there because I've been on such an amazing tropical island that has so much nature and it has the beaches here and Chiang Mai Thailand doesn't. But yeah, with Chiang Mai Thailand, it may be a busy big city and I do love being in nature. It's really good for me to switch off from all the external noise and just get away from EMS, which are really not good for you. Don't know what they are. They're electromagnetic frequencies that are emitted by electronic devices and yeah it just helps me get more in the present moment and de-stress and just makes me feel a lot better mentally and physically holistically so yeah what i can actually do there there are places really close for example it's called doystep mountain that has a trail that you can hike all the way up so i'm going to be doing my cardio up there about three times a week 
so that's going to be really amazing rather than doing it on a treadmill so that's going to be a lot better and more enjoyable for me and just better in so many well in, for so many different reasons and also there's an amazing waterfall there that's secluded that tourists don't really know about or hardly any of them which you can just lay there on the rocks and stuff which I do find comfortable and swim in the water jump in the water and just be surrounded by all the trees and an abundance of oxygen so yeah I have the best of two worlds I have a busy big city but then I also have the nature that I need to go to and there's other places like national parks that I can go to as well and also there's a lot more vegan restaurants there there's a lot here but there's around a hundred plus different places you can go for vegan food there which is just absolutely amazing so it's going to give me a lot more opportunities while I'm there to make a lot of different what I do and what I eat in a day videos in comparison to here because yeah I've done a lot of videos on a lot of different places here but I haven't there so you're going to get to see a lot more different new content from me and also by being around a lot of people that are digital nomads and people that are into fitness it's going to give me a lot more inspiration for many different reasons by being around so many different people and then pursuing their purpose and passion and also get ideas from a lot of people and when I'm around a lot more people that are into things that I am I get a lot more ideas for video content that I can create as well for YouTube so yeah it is just so good for so many reasons even more than can I could ever possibly imagine who knows what's going to happen there and all the different amazing people that I'm going to meet because I find that I meet so many different amazing people there just through people that watch my YouTube videos. So many people that watch my YouTube videos go to Chiang Mai Thailand and I get so many random people come up to me on a regular basis saying, oh, I watch YouTube videos that transform my life. And then I get to connect with so many of the people that watch my YouTube videos. And time and time again, I find that it's just amazing people that I get to have really good connections with and that I do go out my way to spend time with when I have spare time to do things because I have a lot going on in my life. And also a brilliant benefit as well it's going to be the peak of the durian season while there and it has an abundance of durian so yeah if you don't know about durian I've made a video before where I'm eating durian talk about it more in depth I put a link for it up above in case you haven't seen that but it's my favorite fruit and food in the whole entire world so yeah this is a new step in my journey and I do remember making a video when I come to Koh Phangan saying I'd never leave here but yeah it's not the best to say never because you never know what's going to happen in the future what you might feel now may change in the future and then I do plan to go to other different places I'm not going to tell you where except for I am going to come back to England for a brief period of time but I'm not going to let you or anyone know when I'm going back because my family know I'm going back and they're trying to work out when I'm coming back but I'm going to surprise them so I can make some fun YouTube videos and just surprise them so yeah and I haven't been back to England for over three years so it'd be nice to go back home and see my brother my new brother who's around seven months years old see my niece who I haven't seen before as well she's around three years old so yeah it's going to be fun going back there as well and also I'm going to make an effort to go and see some friends that I haven't seen for a while so that would be a good little journey so yeah I'll keep you updated on my journey with me traveling around as always and once I get to Chiang Mai I'm going to show you my new apartment it's going to be the best apartment that I've ever lived in and yeah I will just let you join me on my journeys through the videos that I make on a regular basis so yeah if you have any questions on this leave them down below if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think would like to hear about my own story with what's going on with me leaving Copenhagen Thailand and moving to Chiang Mai Thailand and if you haven't already click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis where I'm sharing with you many different videos the informational videos on one meal a day intermittent fasting calisthenics calisthenics workout videos calisthenics calisthenics progression videos I almost lost my words there and also what I eat in a day videos what I do in a day videos and also me sharing about what's going on my own fitness journey my calisthenics journey in my life as well so if those type of videos sound good to you and you'd like to be notified of when they are uploaded make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click that bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise you will not be notified of when new videos are uploaded and one last thing I will actually like to mention before I go is what type of videos would you like from me let me know down below because as long as the videos are good videos that I think that would do well on YouTube and help a lot of people I'd more than happily make them so please send them my way the ideas that you have for the type of videos that you'd like me to make 
and maybe some of them I've already made so if I have done and you ask them I'll let you know on the comment and give you the link to the video if it already exists so yeah as always stay fit stay energetic and go and get those gains peace